I'm Jane Lilo from Glasgow City Council and we manage the City Centre Street Art Mural Programme. The reason that we promote murals is to brighten up drab and dark areas in the city, gable ends and other parts of buildings and also to deal with graffiti hotspots. The reason we set up the City Centre Mural Trail was to promote some of the fantastic street art that's been developed over the last few years in Glasgow City Centre. Um, we wanted to provide an opportunity for artists to showcase their talents across the City Centre in prominent locations and it's also an opportunity to develop the artists from former graffiti artists in many cases to becoming small businesses in their own right. We're promoting the Mural um, Fund which is an opportunity for mural artists to attract funding from the council to undertake these murals and we're also promoting a mural Mural Trail, where visitors to the city, as well as our own Glass Region citizens, can enjoy the street art by following a map that takes you from around all the murals in Glasgow City Centre. I'm Laura Soba, I'm an Information and Quality Advisor for Visit Scotland. The Glasgow Mural Trail booklet is very colourful and eye-catching, so our visitors like to pick it up by themselves. The images inside are really crisp and colourful, um, so people are attracted to take part in the walk and go see the murals themselves. Um, as well as that, there's also lots of information inside the booklet about the murals, but also about the surrounding areas, so people who are not familiar with the city can use it as a walking trail as well. I think it, it, it's brilliant, because it, it tears it up for a start. It's unusual. And I think for anybody who is visiting Glasgow, you know, coming through, you know, it says a lot about, you know, the talent of people in the city who could do this. I think they're fantastic, um, it's great. Well, it makes it look a lot better than I've done did before. But that's it's absolutely fantastic, you know what I mean, it's, it's good. I'm uh, Bobby McNamara, a street artist in Glasgow that is known as Rogue One. I'm Smug and I'm a Glasgow based artist specialising in large scale photorealistic murals. Uh, I've been painting for about four years now doing the murals in uh, Glasgow City Centre. Painting for 20 years uh, long term um, using a spray can but for four years now I've been doing a lot of the murals that are around the city. Um, you'll see such work as uh, down at the Clyde side. Dunlop Howard Street, the older Gill Street ones uh, which have sadly now moved, um, and uh, Strathclyde University, Cow Cadden's, Mitchell Street, so there's quite a few um, that you'll see around the city centre. I've been doing large scale murals for around about 15 years, um, I've been doing it on a more of a professional level for about the last seven or eight. I started doing the murals just um, through a sort of very traditional graffiti background. Um, and just trying to see how far I can manipulate the spray can to, to sort of get it to do things that I didn't think it would be possible to do. So I've just been challenging myself since I started painting to see how, how bigger and how much more detail I could fit into each thing. I've done a large, large scale mural on the side of the city halls on, on Ingram Street, um, which sort of depicts the four seasons of Scotland, uh, some different sort of scenery aspects within each uh, with, with some animals and things like that. Uh, I've also done, I've worked on some, some pillars underneath the train tracks on Clyde Street and uh, that's got five faces playing with yo-yos and things like that. Just, I try to do things that are fun and interesting, not just for the corporate people or not just for the graph people, but just, I think, family people. I'm, I'm aiming for kids because everybody loves Toy Story, you know, everybody loves The Simpsons. It's stuff that the kids like, it's stuff that adults like. And not that I'm trying to be a people pleaser, but it's, it's the stuff that I like as well. Um, what I've got here is a, a new wall that we're going to work on with Art Pistol. Um, it's a, 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 an average size wall which is quite good. Um, we're working on concepts for it which is going to be based around puppets. I've now spent the week formulating a, a design concept um, which is based around uh, breakdancers. We, we thought an interesting concept would be to have uh, 
body poppers or break dancers in puppet form. Um, it keeps in tie in with street culture and it's quite modern. Uh, um, um, there's a lot of people into to dance nowadays, so I think it, it should be well um, accepted. Um, a lot of people should like it. So um, I've, I've been on a computer and I've, I've put together all the puppets, I uh, put tracksuits on them, um, hats, various baseball caps, shades, glasses. I um, took my influence from a Beastie Boys cover and from a, a Run DMC picture. We had uh, discussions whether we would uh, start by emulsion in the wall, uh, but now after coming up with uh, this concept we've decided we'll, we'll leave it as a brick wall. We'll mark up the outlines of the puppets and the, the hands controlling the, the, the puppetry um, and then we'll emulsion the inside area of that and then get to work on the painting. So things should hopefully start next week. With, with the current piece that I'm working on, I was asked to rework an existing mural that, that I already had on site, uh, which was like a cafe scene. So I just didn't want to do the exact same piece. I'd, I didn't want to just touch it up and make it look prettier. Didn't want to redo it and make it look a little bit better. I, so I decided just to, just to give it a, a complete new revamp uh, with a new concept. Same, same concept with, with the cafe, but just make it more interesting with animals instead of humans and subtle details. I think where the, the, the general perception of all these murals it is very positive. There's a... Uh, I haven't had any bad comments, not, not since I did my first mural down at Clydeside when an old lady walked by shouting at me, I'll phone the police in you. I think since then uh, people get the idea that when something this big's happening, it's about to turn, to, turn out to be one of the murals. Um, so a lot of people are quite positive now. They, they come and say hello to me, sometimes ask me who I am. Um, taxi drivers always chat away and say they love them, uh, there should be more of them. So it's, it's been positive, yeah. Using a spray can to, to sort of produce anything just seems to be really exciting to everybody. So they're just wrapped by what it is. They don't, maybe they don't really understand what it is or maybe they know exactly what it is, but uh, everyone's been really enthusiastic. I find the feedback here in Glasgow, I mean, to be honest, the same as every other place that I ever paint in. I mean, I'm, I'm quite lucky that I, that I travel about seven, eight months of, of the year traveling around the world painting. And it's the same reaction everywhere. Everybody's super positive. I think it's brilliant, it's really clever how they can do all of it and I think it's brilliant all the colours and all the hand gestures, it's great. I think they're lovely, I think they brighten up the city, they look really good. Well they're compelling, I mean they're, they're, they're very noticeable, they're very bright, they're actually well executed but I find myself thinking I wonder what a panda eating um, cane uh, bits is, is doing in this corner of Glasgow so I think I was looking for a connection but they are surprising and jolly and cheerful so you know and a day like this they, they look very well. I think it's absolutely great it brightens the place up puts a smile on your face sometimes to see a bit of modern art about the city. Brilliant. It just looks and makes the place look a lot, lot brighter and nicer to look at instead of a stony grey wall. I think uh, I'd, I'd have to say it certainly brightens up the streets but the <laughs> the intricacy of the artwork's ridiculous, it's, it's, it's really appealing. People come in and have seen maybe one mural and aren't aware that it's part of a trail, so they're really impressed by that one and ask lots of questions about it and that's when we can pass it on to them that there's actually a full trail and they can enjoy it from there.